Many expect the 2022 season to be one of the most competitive seasons ever, which would likely make it more difficult for Fabio Quattararo to defend his championship. The preseason tests confirm that Yamaha are still the slowest bike in a straight line, which complicates things further for Quattararo, who has candidly confirmed his concerns while addressing multiple media outlets. I'm your host, Dylan Shelley, and first up on Moto World, are Yamaha not working hard enough for Fabio Quattararo? Fabio started by summarising the preseason tests. We put in a lot of work and laps. We'd set out to improve our feeling with the soft, and we did that. Our pace with the soft was fast. I could feel myself being much better. The feeling with the bike improved a lot. I also did a long run with a medium rear tyre. The feeling wasn't as good as with the soft tyre, but I'm still really happy with what we've managed to do. He then revealed if there is room for improvement. To be honest, I don't know where we can improve. When you see the front of the bike moving all over the place, the rear end spinning at the limit, when you see yourself touching your elbow everywhere, it's hard to find more. He signed off by imploring Yamaha to work hard on their top speed deficit. For me, the most important thing is that the team, especially Yamaha, works hard in this area to find whatever it is to find more speed so that I find myself less at the limit. Fast feed. Repsol Honda's Marc Marquez feels that it's one thing to go fast on the bike, another thing to do a lap, a good race. But the highlight is when the bike is just another part of your body. That's where the magic begins. When you ride faster, you are less tired and everything comes out. Tech 3 KTM's Remy Gardner confirmed that there was a big question whether he could even ride during the Mandalika test. So, in that sense, to complete plenty of laps was a success. I'm just taking it as it comes and trying to learn. For sure, we're going to learn a lot and it will be good to get racing underway. Suzuki's Alex Rins feels that they did a good five days in Sepang and in Mendelika. I don't know if we improved in our qualifying laps. I tried to make a simulation and we finished fifth. It's still far away. But overall, I'm happy because the bike is a little bit faster and the thing that impressed me more during these tests was the engine. Repsol Honda team manager Alberto Puj feels that they must be back on top. It's clear, again, like I always said, we are Honda and we must be on top, otherwise there is no point to continue participating in the MotoGP championship. Of course, when we change the bike in such a radical step, especially when we are changing the concept, it will not be easy, especially at the beginning of the season, I guess. Ducati's Jack Miller explained that as always when we start the season, especially in a factory team, the objective is to try to win the world championship but I have a lot of tough opponents. It will probably be the toughest year ever in MotoGP. I hope it will be a good year for us and that we will be able to fight until the end. How many riders would you like to see fighting for the 2020 MotoGP Riders' Championship? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of MotoGP.